Now that's a link that does not exist. So once you go to that page, it'll say 404 error. This page is not found. So in that scenario, Google is still trying to reach the data through the earlier URL, but you haven't done a 301 redirect. Next, you put all the URLs that you want to remove in a CSV file and upload it there. Hey, welcome back to yet another episode of the Marketing Notes podcast. Now, in this episode, I want to talk about how do you remove bulk URLs from your Google Webmaster tool, aka the Search Console. Now, since we were already talking about SEO this week, I thought why not continue the theme and go deeper into SEO and the Google Webmaster tool. But before I talk about how do you remove bulk URLs, let me quickly remind you, if you want to get free access to our entire Facebook online advertising course, all you have to do is go to our homepage and click on the button to get access to the entire course. The homepage is themarketingnerds.com and it's a nerds with a Z Z, not S. All right. So now once that's clear, since that's clear, let's get back to the topic, which is how do you remove bulk URLs? Now, if you're already not aware, once you log in to your Google Webmaster tool and click on crawl error, you will see a tab which is not found. And that's the place you find all the 404 URLs. Now, if you're not aware of what is a 404 URL, it's like sometimes, for example, just go to themarketingnerds.com slash ABC. Now that's a link that does not exist. So once you go to that page, it'll say 404 error. This page is not found. Please contact the administrator if you think this page should exist, right? A message like that. I'm sure you must have come across pages like that. When you enter the wrong URL, it goes to a 404 error page, right? So these are the pages that the webmaster tool locates on your website where people are trying to reach out to, but these pages do not exist. It's a negative as far as SEO is concerned, as far as Google is concerned. And Google does not like you having a lot of 404 pages on your website. And you should probably immediately do something to change the 404. Now there are two things in this scenario that could have happened for a 404 page to be there. One, you actually had that URL earlier, but then you changed your URL structure or you changed your site design. And in that process, you may have changed the URL and it moved to a new URL. Let's say you wrote a blog post about 10 ways to lose weight in 2017 and the URL is fitnesswithcurrent.com 2017. But later, you decided that this URL is not completely optimized. So I would change that particular page URL to fitnesswithcurrent.com slash weight loss 2017. Now people may have had the earlier URL and Google has already indexed, indexed the earlier URL. So in that scenario, Google is still trying to reach the data through the earlier URL, but you haven't done a 301 redirect. So in this scenario, First thing you go to your webmaster tool, check out if uh, you have any links that are 404. And if you have changed the URL, just do a 301 redirect. And if you're using WordPress, that's a very, very simple thing. And if you don't know what a 301 redirect is, I will be doing a new podcast on it. And of course, if you want to see it visually, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you can see everything done visually, right? So the best thing to do here is do a 301 redirect and then just come back and mark it as fixed. So now Google knows that, hey, you have fixed this crawl error. But if let's say that in scenario number two, where your site got hacked or it's a malware issue, then there must be a lot of dummy URLs created within your sites, which may be redirecting to some other content or some other gaming sites and stuff, which actually is not your content. And you actually want to remove these links from your website. And you have tons and tons and tons of these links. 
So there's a really really awesome tool which is called as github.com right so you go to www.github.com or just google google webmaster tool bulk url removal and the first link that most likely will open up is github.com right so you go to this tool and download a zip file so once you go to github download the zip file and as soon as the download is complete you immediately unzip the file right as simple as that so once you unzip the file the next thing you want to do is go to your chrome if you're using chrome go to chrome and then go to tools and select extension once you do that then you want to select the developer mode and once you select the developer mode then you want to select load unpacked extension so go to your extension setting then select developer mode and then load unpack extension and once you click on that you select the file which was unzipped right you select the folder that was unzipped and you'll immediately see the webmaster tool bulk url removal extension on your chrome browser as simple as that and then next you go to your webmaster tool url removal and you'll immediately see an option to upload a file upload a csv file with links of all the urls that you you have the option to upload a file so next you put all the urls that you want to remove in a csv file and upload it there as simple as that and if you have 500000 links that you want to remove because your site got hacked or there was a malware issue bam it's as simple as that and then it automatically happens so this is an awesome awesome tool I hope this was of value to you and of course it was a little technical so if you're not familiar with 404 301 redirects the Google webmaster tool I highly highly suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel which is the marketing nerds so that you can see all of this work in detail so I'll be talking to you tomorrow I'll speak to you tomorrow with yet another episode of the Marketing Nerds Podcast. This is the SEO week and we go deeper into SEO tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.